Greetings from Edu Aspirants, our YouTube channel to ACE Academics, competitions, entrance exams as also enrichment of knowledge. In the series of videos on India Chapter 11, this is the second of the three videos on education. Let us see what we have for you. Centrally sponsored scheme for teacher education. A. Strengthening teacher education. The centrally sponsored scheme for teacher education established district institutes for education and training diets. In all districts, strengthened colleges of teachers education and upgraded existing government secondary teacher education institutions into CTEs. Strengthen institutes of advanced studies in education. Upgraded Department of Education in universities as IASEs and established block institutes for teacher education, BITES, and in identified SCST minority concentration districts. This much on teacher education. A lot of work has been done in recent years on this. B. Quality in teacher education. Creating a separate cadre. States and union territories have created separate cadre for teacher educators under the TE scheme, that is teacher education scheme. States have also been asked to strengthen the cadre of teacher educators in their respective states and union territories. National Council for Teacher Education, NCTE Regulations. The NCTE was established with a view to achieving planned and coordinated development of the teacher education system throughout the country. The regulation and proper maintenance of norms and standards in the teacher education system and for matters connected therewith. Reorganizing, restructuring of SCERT, that is State Council for Educational Research and Training, and cadre restructuring for teacher educators. Under the CSS teacher education, most states in the country have reorganized or restructured their SCERTs. New activities, initiatives under CSS teacher education scheme, the Department of School Education and Literacy, SCNL, launched India Teacher Education Portal, Prashik Shak to monitor teachers' education institutions and provide comprehensive information to prospective students and teachers to select the right institute as per choice. Scheme for providing quality education in madrasas, the government has implemented the scheme for providing quality education in madrasas, SPQEM, for the children of minorities. The objectives of the scheme are encourage madrasa and maktabs to introduce formal subjects like science, math, social science, Hindi and English by means of providing financial assistance. Children studying in madrasas and maktabs attain academic proficiency for classes 1 to 12. Madrasas, maktabs, Darul Uloom can opt to become accredited study centers with National Institute of Open Schooling for which proper assistance will be provided. Children above 14 years in madrasas, maktabs, Darul Uloom are given opportunities to attain vocational training and strengthening of madrasas both for monitoring and awareness of SPQEM. Infrastructure Development for Minority Institutes 
the scheme facilitates education of minorities by strengthening school infrastructure in minority institutions. The scheme covers the entire country. It funds infrastructure development of private aided, unaided minority elementary, secondary and senior secondary schools to the extent of 75 percent and subject to a maximum of 50 lakh rupees per school. The centrally sponsored National Means Come Merit Scholarship Scheme NMMSS awards scholarships to meritorious students of economically weaker sections to prevent dropout at class 8 and encourage them to continue study at secondary and higher secondary stage. 1 lakh scholarships of rupees 6000 per annum that is 500 rupees per month per student are awarded to selected students every year. There is quota of scholarships for different states and union territories. Students whose parental income from all sources is not more than 1,50,000 rupees per annum are eligible to avail the scholarships. The centrally sponsored National Scheme of Incentive to Girls for Secondary Education NSIGSE was launched to reduce dropouts and to promote enrollment of girl children belonging mainly to SC and ST communities in secondary schools. A sum of rupees 3000 is deposited in the name of the unmarried eligible girls as fixed deposit on enrollment in class 9 and they are entitled to withdraw it along with interest thereon passing class 10 and attaining 18 years of age. The scheme covers all girls belonging to SCST communities who pass class 8 and all girls who pass class 8 from Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyalayas irrespective of whether they belong to SC or ST communities and enroll in class 9 in a state government, government aided and local body schools. The government has launched Direct Benefit Transfer DBT. The scheme envisages direct transfer of funds to beneficiary account through the Aadhaar Payment Bridge APB. Two scholarship schemes of the Department of School Education and Literacy that is National Means Come Merit Scholarship Scheme NMNSS and National Scheme of Incentives to Girls for Secondary Education NSI GSE are covered under direct bank transfer. Adult education at the time of independence 86% of India's population was illiterate. It was a sad story. For accomplishment of basic literacy, programs were introduced since the first five-year plan period, the most prominent being the National Literacy Mission NLM. This was launched in 1988 for the adults in the age group of 15 years and above. The program of National Literacy Mission was revamped as Sakshar Bharat for lifelong learning. The National Literacy Mission Authority NLMA is the operating and implementing organization at national level for all the activities envisaged in adult education and skill development. Instituted in 1958, the National Award to Teachers NAT is given away by the President of India on 5th September, that is the Teachers Day every year, as public recognition to meritorious teachers. Altogether, there are 378 awards, out of which 23 awards are reserved for Sanskrit, Persian and Arabic teachers. Special awards are given for promoting inclusive education in schools and education 
of children with disabilities in regular schools. The total number of special awards is 43. Special awards are conferred on the teachers of following categories. Teachers with disabilities working in mainstream schools. Special teachers or trained general teachers who have done outstanding work for inclusive education. Each award carries with it a certificate of merit, a cash award of rupees 50,000 and a silver medal. Kendriya Vidyalaya's Sangatan KVS, which runs central schools, is providing uninterrupted education to the wards of transferable central government employees since 1962. The Government of India wholly finances the Sangatan. Jawahar Navode Vidyalaya's established in 1986 as residential Navaday schools with an aim of providing holistic excellence with equity and social justice to the talented children predominantly from the rural areas and irrespective of their family's socio-economic condition. National Council of Educational Research and Training, NCERT, in the states we know it is SCERT, was established on September 1, 1961 as a national body to provide academic and technical support for qualitative improvement of education. The major constituent units of the NCERT are National Institute of Education, NIE, New Delhi, Central Institute of Education Technology, CIET, New Delhi, Pandit Sundar Lal Sharma, Central Institute of Vocational Education, PSSCIVE, Bhopal, five regional institutes of education, RIEs, which are at Ajmer, Bhopal, Bhubaneswar, Mysore, and Umiyam in Meghalaya. National Bal Bhavan, established in 1956, is an autonomous institution, a movement across the country with 134 affiliated Bal Bhavans and Bal Kendras. In addition, there are 48 Bal Bhavan Kendras and a Bal Bhavan at Mandi village in New Delhi. National Bal Bhavan aims at enhancing the creative potential of children by providing them various activities, opportunities and common platform to interact, experiment, create and perform according to their age, aptitude and ability. This brings us to the end of the second of the three videos on education. I am sure you understand the importance of this video because there are questions which will come in your forthcoming exams. Please subscribe, like, share and do press the bell icon for subsequent videos. Best wishes for your forthcoming exams.